Hey, everybody. You'll never guess who desperately wants Steve Hightower. Well, it can't be a woman. <laughs> because it's time to start your interview. I'm the principal, Regina Greer. You're R. Greer? <laughs> you go, girl! Look at you! You are young and fine and doing things, girl! You're gonna have to go out and have margaritas so you can tell me how you came up. <laughs> well, I talked to my mama and she shamed me. She reminded me you're old and single, and the only things you have to keep you warm are hot water and liquor. <laughs> He in the kitchen. <laughs> Hello, Levita. Hello. Where's your nose ring, Janet? <laughs> Levita, you are seven minutes late, and I find that unacceptable. Well, I find you trifling. <laughs> what time is it? Almost seven. Ooh! Your place is laid out! You ain't got no plastic on your furniture. Girl, you classy. You my shero. <laughs> Look, just because you old and lonely and Steve ain't got no game, don't mean I'm gonna let you push up on my man. My people just from New Orleans and I will put roots on you. I don't think it's appropriate to close with keeping it on the ferrilla, your home slice, Principal Greer. <laughs> you my girl! I just want people to know you down. Cause they can't tell by talking to you on the phone. <laughs> well. At least I got a man and a baby, and not a man that acts like a baby. But like I said, overall, LaVita, your performance is outstanding. Mm. You mean aside from the fact that I'm a late hoe? <laughs> <laughs> Here are them reports. Thank you, LaVita. I sure could go for some coffee. Maybe you should just electric slide yourself over to Starbucks, Miss Paula Abdul. Hmm. You know what this right here needs? It needs some bacos. <laughs> no. You need bacos and spaghetti? <laughs> Look, if this is about me using the school's postage machine to send out the invitations to my cousin's wedding slash baby shower, <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, I didn't know about that. I'm not trip. You invited. That's not what I meant. What also, I usually stop by the office this time of year to pick up my packet of 300 hall passes. <laughs> Look, you little low-rent Brad Pitt. I don't play that. Because I'm running for that slot. You? The whole building is scared of you. <laughs> Even the black women clutch their purses when you step into the elevator. <laughs> Who you opening for? The shop teacher? <laughs> Why don't you get yourself a fresh stick of gum and pop yourself into oblivion? <laughs> Look, miss. Look like Bow Wow made up his mind. Excuse you. <laughs> this is between me and the boy. So why don't you just turn back around and play with your little buttons? <laughs> oh, I'm not mad. Oops. Oh, look at that. Stepped on it. Oh, well, back to work. <laughs> your dignity called. You want to know when he can come back home? Excuse me. You dump my set. He got you this job. If it wasn't for him, you'd be opening doors at the Marriott. Uh, excuse me, but ain't this normally the time of day where you sneak down to the janitor's room and watch your stories? Excuse you? I'll sneak down to the janitor's room and watch my stories? I gotta go make some copies. <laughs> Give me that. That's really nice. Stupid, but nice. You're OK, OK, it's like that. Hey, honey bump. I got a two for one egg roll coupon. And for dessert. <laughs> You could get a double dip of this chocolate. <laughs> That's it. If I wasn't saved and you wasn't so ancient, I... Can't I say what? No, oh, no. No, no, don't let Grandma put an age for you. No, we can do this. Come on, no. Oh, what's up? No, you tell me. What's it's, up? It's whatever. What's up? 
It's whatever. Come on, well, now. you come on. Stop. Could you, stop. Stop. Could you please stop? Could you two please stop? Look at the way Rachel acting. She all over Steve. Must be a cry for help. Ooh, I love surprises. Like when they accidentally give you seven nuggets instead of six. <laughs> okay. The right. only annoying thing you can ever do is stop being my chocolate steady bear. <laughs> Man can't eat a cashew without smacking and humming. <laughs> um, I'm sorry. This champagne says 1968. Could we get something fresher? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Excuse you? Cedric, you messing with the wrong family. And don't even think about leaving town, because I know about your mama's property and Willa Coochie. Objection, Your Honor. It's my turn to talk. Sustain. <laughs> oh, poor thing. She ain't been the same since she got clipped in the head with a cafeteria tray during the fish stick uprising. <laughs> get off me, Claire's, and get out of my face, you Hyundai driving fool. Levita. There's no way to talk to your husband. Besides, you called me that this morning. Well, you don't deserve a new insult. <laughs> I'd really like you to put that away. Just a sack. <laughs> what are you doing? That is land comb. Well, now it's land gone. <laughs> You the queen of overreacting, Miss Patty Liss LaBelle. <laughs> Levita, you never seem to be in a good mood anymore. I mean, what's wrong? I'll tell you what's wrong. Your unborn child is breakdancing on my bladder. This piece of junk never even came on. Mama sat in front of it, staring at her own reflection all day, wondering why she was on TV. <laughs> Jackie Robinson, how dare you talk about being a false prophet? Cedric, I am a God-fearing Christian woman. I can't spread chocolate sauce on somebody who's trying to get over on the Lord. You need to come with me down to my church and take Brother Shahid Ali Muhammad's self-defense in Windows 98 class. <laughs> Excuse you? You got time for this hoochie with a notepad and you ain't spread chocolate on me all week? <laughs> she ain't got no friends, no dates. A woman her age, that's just wrong. I know. I wish there was something we could do to help bring her out of her shell. She's so sweet. Well, boss lady, that's the problem. Her shell is jacked up. <laughs> Fanny, Regina may be my boss, but if she ever tries to push me out of a moving car again, it's gonna be Brandy and Monica. <laughs> <laughs> This is a real police officer. Oh. Well, I don't care if she is a police officer. Regina Greer, don't back down from nobody. <laughs> don't nobody forbid LaVita Alize Jenkins. You sure you want to start off the new century looking like you ain't never seen running water? <laughs> That's real funny, Steve. You should tell your dad. Levita, <laughs> Levita having a baby time? No, Steve, it's hammer time. <laughs> Last night, I was over at Steve's, and I accidentally came across his day planner, and as I was accidentally going through it, I accidentally came across this note. <laughs> I am not interested in anything that you found in Steve's personal belongings. I trust my man. It's about Steve and MMA. Give me that. <laughs> Steve is meeting Emma May at the Lake Mont Hotel today at 4? Mm -hmm. How could he do that to me? Not Emma May. I just took that country half a shoe shopping. Mm. <laughs> Isn't that ironic? You take her shoe shopping and she boot knocking with your man. <laughs> but don't worry, boss lady. My Creole aunt got some herbs that'll mess with Steve's manhood for the next six months. 